Hey Clovers, and thank you for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you can stay completely updated. Mr. B in Hi, Mr. B. Ah, go away, Mr. B, go away. All right, Clovers, I hope everybody has been well. I've been doing good. My bad, I had to change the scenery because that bee just kept, kept trying to get a player. I know I'm sweet like honey, but uh, uh rather not, Mr. B. I'd rather not. And honestly, y'all, I really just thought I was going to lose my life to that bee. Like, y'all don't understand. I've been going through the worst allergic reaction to mosquito bites. God forbid I get a bee sting, I might just fall out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I. That's neither here nor there. What we're here for. <laughs> but no, okay. So the purpose of this video today is basically to give y'all a little warning to think before you act. Just think before you With that being said, y'all, I will address the huge pink elephant in the room. I have been telling myself I wasn't gonna be the person to say this because I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I really do. That's not my thing. I'm not good with that type of energy. I'm more of the everything's fun, everything's great person. But the reality of this situation is think before you act. That's all. The I'll topic say. of today is actually going to be about box trucks, cargo vans, and hot shots. Um, people have been asking me to do video on, videos on this for the longest. Um, and just to a disclaimer, I did use to dispatch for box trucks. That was about two and a half years ago. Um, if you really think about the time that I was dispatching for box trucks, you'll see that that industry, when it was like this huge boom for box trucks, cargo vans, and hot shots, that was during COVID. It was 2020. 2020 is COVID. During COVID, you guys understand everything, like the world shut down. We were all a part of it. Um, if you are listening to this today, you are truly blessed. Um, thank God. And you need to wake up and thank him every day because I, I know so many people that lost their lives during COVID. And, and due to COVID, it, 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 like it, it was scary. Um, once again, 2020 taught me to never take any day for granted. I love life, I love nature, I love God, and that is all I base my life around. So 2020 taught us a lot. During that time though, if you really think about it, when everything was shut down, of course, shippers were also being shut down. So during that time, they were still taking scheduled deliveries that had been scheduled weeks and months in advance. So that became an excess amount of freight on the ports and in the warehouses. During that time, shippers also only had about, uh, when I was reading back through it, I think the shippers only had 60 days to get all of the excess freight um, from the ports and from their warehouses that the stuff was being stored. Instead of taking a fine for it, that is when all of those equipments like box trucks, cargo vans, and uh, sprinter vans, and the uh, hot shots got put in. Put you on have to remember that those pieces of equipment can only take a fraction of what a standard piece of equipment that is CDLA can haul. So the max a box truck can be is 26 feet. The standard for a dry van or a reefer is 53 feet. So it's about half. Um, but during 2020, when they needed like as much help as possible getting the stuff moved so they wouldn't get fined, box truck carriers and hot shot carriers the full otr rate to get the product moved from point a to point b when 2020 was over and we're talking post COVID now everything is now being regulated we no longer have this excessive need for cargo vans sprinter vans box trucks or hot shots any other time you're not getting the you're only getting paid for a partial load because you can only pick up technically half of what a standard piece of equipment can pick up so with that being said after everything was back regulated they then can regulate the rate per mile for all of those pieces of equipment back to partial load prices partial load prices don't have like the last time i looked into box trucks specifically the rates were no more than about a dollar 45 i'll say a dollar 50 just to give it that extra five cent but really the with my own eyes i only saw a dollar 45 at the max um and that was about a year ago so i understand people are putting out a lot of videos still to this day claiming to make these absurd numbers from just one box truck i'm telling y'all that is not the truth um as a dispatcher who started off as dispatching box trucks i 
stopped within one year. So at the start of 2021, that's when I start to see the dwindle and what box truck carriers were actually earning. Um, and when I first started box, when I first started dispatching box trucks, y'all can go back to that video where I was like, I made 7,000 my first month. That's true. And I did do it off a of box truck, but that was in 2020. That is not the case now. Right hand of God, anybody that has ever taken the Shamrock Logistics course, I tell them straight up, hey, I understand that you're gonna be itching to get your first carrier, but if I were you, I would not accept a box truck, hot shot, cargo or sprinter van carrier simply because you're going to be making your job a lot harder for no reason because you're going to be up earlier have to stay up longer work longer do more just to book one load for a box truck compared to taking 15 minutes to book a load for a cdl a piece of equipment um and honestly y'all before you go out there, come to find out box trucks and, and sprinter vans and the hot shop, the dually trucks, unless you just want a truck to look cool in, there is no point of getting one of those huge dually trucks because you're not going to make your money back on that investment. Um, it's a cool truck. Don't get me wrong. I like big trucks. So if that's what you're doing, then don't listen to this part. But if you are getting a dually truck simply to do hot shot trucking, you're not going to make the money that these videos are telling you. That make you're sure you're make. doing proper research before you get into any industry, especially with making an investment like that. Um, come to find out those pieces of equipment compared to a power only unit is only about a five to $10,000 difference. Meaning you could take that 40,000 and go get a box truck for sure. But I'm telling you, you're not gonna make that 40,000 back probably for the next with how the industry is looking now you probably won't make that forty thousand dollar investment back for about two years and that's if you are paying for it outright god forbid you got a lease on that truck you are literally just going to be sitting with a truck that you can't make the proper income off of to be completely so honest spending forty thousand dollars on a box truck a sprinter van or a hot shot i would, and really it's between 40 and 60. when i was do looking at the numbers it's between 40 and sixty thousand. you can genuinely go find a power only unit for that same amount of money um and you can lease a power only unit um keep in mind that is just a front part it's a truck without a trailer so i always call it like the little shark it looks like a shark it's just a truck without a trailer you can do hook and drop loads on that trailer and make that $40,000 investment back off of a power only unit. I'm telling you that is not the same circumstances for a box truck or anything like that. Stop just going based off what people say in videos. Um, just remember that you can make your mouth say anything. Like you can literally make your mouth say anything that you want it to say. And I think that's the case in a lot of these videos that I've been watching telling people like, oh, I made $50,000 this month off my one box truck. So just be very mindful of what you are consuming. And just because someone says that you can make X amount of dollars, always do your research to make sure. Um, I think a lot of people are putting themselves in horrible financial situations, just listening to videos instead of going out here and researching. Y'all books are free. Um, you don't have to pay for anybody's course. If you don't have the money, you can go get a book. The library is free for everybody. Um, Google is free. Every, you have enough resources to do anything that you want to do for free. Um, you just have to have the initiative to go do that. But I'm telling y'all, listening to these videos and then going out here and spending forty, fifty thousand dollars on a truck that will never generate that income that these people are promising that you would make. Um, it just, it's a bad look, and I'm tired of hearing the same story. So I hope this video can save somebody before you go out there and make this huge investment on something that you'll never see the proper return for. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There is money all throughout logistics in general. Even me, I'm a dispatcher. There's money, trust me. But if you are looking to specifically buy trucks, I would suggest just buying a power only unit and saving up until you can get a trailer. I would not buy a cargo van, sprinter van, or a box truck, not right now. I'm not seeing where the investment is worth it. And I've been doing this for almost four years. Um, but once again, don't even take my word for it, for it. Go do your own research. But from a dispatcher standpoint, I'm the person that makes sure money is generated. And I'm telling you, there's no money being generated in that um, in those trucks. So just take, take this advice, research, and make the best decision for you and your company. This is just my advice. Be safe and be blessed.